Hey, what's up everybody? Tom here again playing Kerbal Space Program and today I'm going to show you an ultralight aircraft using the uh, new Dressed for Success update. So this is all fully stock. You can see I've got a external command seat. In this update I noticed a change log. If I move my, get rid of my webcam, um, and I go to the crew assignment you can see I've got Valentina assigned to my external command seat. So in 1.5, Kerbals can now be placed in external command seats in the vehicle assembly building or the space plane hangar, which is sweet. So we can launch this. And instead of having to create a, uh, a command module attached to the craft, detach that and then walk your Kerbal over to the command seat and hop in. You can see Valentina's ready to go right here. Um, and let's pop my webcam back on. I will show you that this is not going to take off on its own. Not quite. She's still fine. But let's try to launch with the chute and it should be much easier. Okay, so if you right click the Kerbal, pin that, you can see deploy chute is available. In the prior update they added this feature so you can deploy the chute from the command seat directly. Um, now, go, 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 go. Yes, come on, come on. Yes, all right, so not super easy to take off with this thing and I think the balance is the trickiest thing to get right if you're gonna try to build something like this um, but yeah it's pretty sweet ultralight parachute so this is a single Juno engine and an Oscar B fuel tank and your Kerbal with the chutes. Oh yeah, and these uh, rover wheels that are pretty sweet. They tuck in, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty, it's very uh, maneuverable, and it can go up to like something like 14,000 feet on a single Juno engine with like only less than 20 units of liquid fuel, which is crazy. So you could have a lot of fun with these. I think I will probably do more with this in the future, but I just wanted to make a quick video uh, because the change log is really uh, just like one line in a long list of changes, but it makes it super easy to put your Kerbals in the command seats instead of having to build a custom rig to get them attached to your craft, detach it, walk them over, put them in. Um, so you could you can picture what you might do with like a hundred Kerbals that can hop in command seats and deploy parachutes. Probably do something with that in a future video. For now, I'm going to try to fly this thing under that bridge. If I can slow down, just by looping around a few times. I made the mistake of not adding a yaw control <laughs> on this craft. So I'm going to try to line it up. And I'm coming in pretty fast, but let's see if we can go under the bridge. And just whip it down there. Whoa! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Fan man, or fan, fan woman, Valentina. I, I've dreamed of making something like this, but it's been so annoying to get your Kerbal into the stupid seat and deploy the chute, and it only took, you know, many years of updates, and they finally added this feature with the chutes, and then to deploy them, and then put the Kerbal in the thing. So, yeah, this is pretty fun. Um, I can show you just how high this one can go. That was insane. I can't believe that I got that on the first try because <laughs> this is like a one take video. Uh, I've not had a lot of time to edit 
these things down. So you're picking up 179, 180, 180 meters per second. To cut it short, um, I realized that you can gain, uh, you can climb to a pretty high altitude. As these things do provide quite a lot of lift from the chute. And with just a single Juno and hardly anything else, um, the craft is really light. This thing can get up to like 12,000 meters, something like that. We won't go all the way up there because I want to show you another one that I built. Um, so if I go back to the space plane hangar, and we will open another ultralight, I think it's called Fan Man High Altitude. There you go. And you can see this is a little bit different. It's got not quite as small, um, so maybe not ultralight's the wrong word, but uh, Skunk Works Prototype maybe is a better description. External command seat on the top there. Uh, I'm going to make sure, I'll kill my webcam, and I'm going to make sure that somebody's in there. Let's put Valentina in again, and the, what do we have here? On the front, the adjustable ramp intake, and on the back, a whiplash turbo ramjet, the same wheels uh, that collapse, and how much fuel? 40 there with some fuel tanks here. Um, to show the center of lift, it's back there, but when I deploy this, it's going to shift forward. Or I should say, when I deploy the chute on the Kerbal, it's going to shift forward. Let's launch it. Okay, and activate, oh shoot, okay, right click, deploy the chute, looking good, Valentina's having fun, whoa, <laughs> okay, that's already going way too fast, let's slow down a little bit, so we've got our turbo ramjet parachute ultralight thing and I want to see I was curious I built this one to see how high you could actually go and what the limits are on the Kerbal in the external command seat it's so crazy so I would not want to be her right now obviously we're going 800 meters per second at 10,000 feet 10,000 meters uh, and we are still all right, 900. Let's go forward because I think this is where we're going to start to lose some lift. I'm having trouble bringing it down. 21, 22,000 meters. Come on, yeah, I just can't bring it down. I do not think my shoot's doing much now. I cannot bring this thing down. Trying to pitch down, and we've lost 27,000 meters. I think that was not a steady climb. Now the trick will be to actually try to retain control. I'm going to put. I'm going to pitch down. 28,000 meters. That was just a crazy climb. We are starting to drop now. I just don't want to go so high because I've had trouble at this altitude retaining control and you get into some out of control spins. Still going 800 meters per second. So I'm just like wobbling. Okay, okay. All right, so we're flying upside down. Engines have kicked in at 26,000 meters flying upside down. I'm going to drop down to about 20,000 where we have some, a little bit more atmosphere and a little bit more control. This is going fast. Whoa. Okay, Valentina, hang in there. 
The other question is, when do these guys actually blow up? Or can the Kerbals tolerate infinite heat? Somebody probably knows the answer to this already. And I'm reinventing the wheel. Somebody, is that her overheating? Is that my command seat overheating? Twelve hundred. And Valentina's gone. So yeah, she overheated. I think. I think that's what just happened. And now I have this crazy thing that I cannot control at all. But, uh, yeah, so be on the lookout for a future video where I do more stuff with these command seats and shoots and probably something that involves way way more kerbals because you can just toss them into the command seats super easily in the space plane hangar um, if you like this click like on the video and subscribe otherwise i will see you guys later